soundstripe. Welcome to Philosophy Acquired, where every episode unlocks secrets to a better you. Hit subscribe and join our community of curious minds on a journey that will leave you craving for more. Chapter 1. The Concept of Growing Up Historical and Cultural Perspectives on Growing Up Throughout history, cultures around the world have held diverse views on what it means to grow up. In many traditional societies, the transition from childhood to adulthood is marked by specific rites of passage. These ceremonies, often steeped in ancient rituals, signify the individual's readiness to assume adult responsibilities. For example, in some indigenous cultures, young boys undergo tests of endurance or skill to prove their manhood, while girls might participate in rituals that symbolize their transition to womanhood. In contrast, contemporary Western societies tend to lack formal rites of passage, and the boundaries between childhood, adolescence, and adulthood are more blurred. The concept of growing up in these cultures is often tied to legal milestones, such as the age of consent, the driving age, or the age of majority, rather than any specific personal development or ritual. Psychological Theories of Development and Maturation Psychologists have long studied the process of growing up, seeking to understand how individuals develop physically, cognitively, and emotionally over time. One of the most influential theories is that of Jean Piaget, who proposed four stages of cognitive development, sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. According to Piaget, each stage represents a different way of thinking and understanding the world, with individuals gradually progressing from simple, concrete concepts to more complex, abstract ones. Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development is another key framework, which outlines eight stages of emotional and social growth from infancy to old age. Each stage presents a unique challenge or crisis that the individual must resolve to develop a healthy sense of self and relationships with others. Other psychological theories focus on different aspects of development, such as Lawrence Kohlberg's stages of moral development or Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which emphasizes the importance of fulfilling basic physiological and safety needs before achieving higher levels of self-actualization and personal growth. The distinction between biological aging and growing up. It is crucial to differentiate between the biological process of aging and the concept of growing up. Aging is a natural, inevitable process that occurs at a cellular level and affects all living organisms. It is marked by physical changes such as the graying of hair, the wrinkling of skin, and a gradual decline in bodily functions. Growing up involves acquiring knowledge, skills, and social competencies, as well as developing a sense of identity and personal values. While aging is a linear process, growing up is not necessarily tied to chronological age and can occur at different rates and in various ways for different individuals. Chapter 2. The Philosophy of Growing Up Philosophical Views on Childhood Innocence and Its Loss The concept of childhood innocence is, is a cornerstone in philosophical discussions about growing up. Philosophers like Jean-Jacques Rousseau and John Locke have famously debated the nature of this innocence, with Rousseau asserting that children are born pure and inherently good, while Locke proposed the idea of the child's mind as a tabula rasa, or blank slate, shaped by experience. The loss of this innocence is often seen as a pivotal moment in the transition from childhood to adulthood, marked by an increased awareness of societal norms, moral complexities, and personal responsibilities. This shift is not just a psychological change, but a philosophical one, as it challenges our understanding of knowledge, morality, and the self. The role of play, imagination, and freedom in childhood philosophers have long recognized the significance of play, imagination, and freedom in the development of a child's mind and character. Plato, for example, emphasized the importance of play in education, believing that it lays the foundation for the development of virtue and wisdom. Similarly, Friedrich Schiller and Immanuel Kant saw play and aesthetic experience as crucial to the cultivation of moral and intellectual faculties. In contemporary philosophy, the value of unstructured play and imagination is often highlighted as a counterbalance to the structured, goal-oriented activities that dominate modern childhood. These elements are seen as essential for fostering creativity, empathy, 
and a sense of wonder, qualities that are integral to a well-rounded and fulfilling life. The impact of societal expectations on childhood. Societal expectations play a significant role in shaping the experience of childhood. The philosopher Michel Foucault's concept of power knowledge is relevant here, as it suggests that societal norms and institutions exert a form of control over individuals, including children. This can be seen in the way education systems, parenting styles, and cultural norms influence what is considered appropriate behavior, knowledge, and ambition for children. The pressure to conform to these expectations can lead to a loss of individuality and freedom as children learn to navigate the complexities of social conformity and personal identity. Moreover, the increasing emphasis on achievement, competition, and early specialization in contemporary society raises philosophical questions about the purpose of childhood and the values we impart to the next generation. In conclusion, the philosophy of growing up encompasses a wide range of themes, from the innocence and freedom of childhood to the challenges posed by societal expectations. By examining these topics, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of human development and the values that shape our lives from an early age. Chapter 3, Adolescence and Identity Formation Adolescence is a critical period in the philosophy of growing up, marked by profound physical, emotional, and cognitive changes. It is during this time that individuals embark on a journey of self-discovery, grappling with questions of identity and autonomy. This chapter delves into the complexities of adolescence, exploring the intricate dance between conformity and rebellion and the quest for a unique sense of self. Exploration of the self during adolescence. The onset of puberty heralds the beginning of adolescence, a time when individuals start to view themselves and the world around them through a new lens. This period is characterized by a heightened sense of introspection and self-awareness. Adolescents begin to question their place in the world, their values, and their beliefs. This exploration of the self is driven by a desire to understand their own identity, separate from their parents and family. The development of cognitive abilities, such as abstract thinking and metacognition, allows adolescents to ponder complex questions about their existence and purpose. Um, they start to form their own opinions and beliefs, often experimenting with different roles and personas. This, this exploration is a necessary step in the formation of a stable sense of self which will guide them through adulthood. The quest for identity and autonomy. The search for identity is at the heart of adolescence. Eric Erickson, a prominent psychologist, described this stage as the crisis of identity versus role confusion. Adolescents are faced with the task of forging a clear sense of who they are and what they stand for, a process that is both exhilarating and daunting. Autonomy, the sense of being an independent self, becomes a crucial goal during this time. Adolescents strive to establish their own values, make their own choices, and assert their independence from parental authority. This quest for autonomy often leads to tension and conflict within the family, as parents struggle to balance their desire to protect their children with the need to let them grow and learn from their own experiences. Peer Influence, Conformity, and Rebellion Peers play a significant role in the adolescent's quest for identity. The desire to belong and be accepted by one's peer group can exert a powerful influence on behavior and attitudes. Conformity to group norms is often seen as a way to secure a place within the social hierarchy. However, this can lead to a tension between the need to fit in and the desire to maintain a unique sense of self. Rebellion is a common response to this tension. It can manifest as a rejection of parental or societal values, a way to assert individuality and autonomy. However, rebellion can also be a form of conformity, as adolescents may adopt the rebellious attitudes or behaviors of their peer group. In conclusion, adolescence is a pivotal time in the philosophy of growing up, marked by a complex interplay between exploration, identity formation, and the influences of peers. It is a period of both vulnerability and opportunity as individuals navigate the challenges of becoming their own person. The journey through adolescence is not just about reaching adulthood, but about laying the foundation for a life of purpose, meaning, and authentic self-expression. Chapter 4, Aging and Wisdom The Philosophical Significance of Aging and Mortality 
aging and mortality are inescapable aspects of the human condition. Philosophers throughout history have grappled with the implications of our finite existence, exploring how the awareness of death shapes our lives and values. Aging in this context is not merely a biological process, but a profound journey that carries with it the weight of existential questions. As we grow older, the reality of our mortality becomes increasingly tangible, prompting reflections on the meaning and purpose of our lives. The philosophical significance of aging lies in its ability to bring into focus the essential aspects of our existence. It is a reminder of the transient nature of life and the urgency to live authentically and meaningfully. Mortality serves as a backdrop against which the drama of life unfolds, pushing us to confront the fundamental questions of who we are and what truly matters. The Pursuit of Wisdom Over a Lifetime Wisdom is often seen as the ultimate goal of the aging process, a sought-after treasure that comes with the passage of time. However, the pursuit of wisdom is not a passive endeavor. It requires active engagement with life's experiences and challenges. Wisdom is not merely the accumulation of knowledge, but the ability to apply that knowledge with discernment, empathy, and humility. The philosophical journey towards wisdom involves a continuous process of learning, unlearning, and relearning. It is about cultivating the capacity to see the world from multiple perspectives, to understand the interconnectedness of all things, and to navigate the complexities of human existence with grace and compassion. As we age, we are presented with opportunities to deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us, to refine our values, and to live with a sense of purpose and integrity. Reflections on Life Achievements and Regrets as we journey through the later stages of life, reflections on our achievements and regrets become an integral part of our existential contemplation. These reflections are not merely a backward glance at the past, but a critical examination of the choices we have made and the paths we have taken. They offer insights into the extent to which we have lived in alignment with our deepest values and aspirations. Life achievements are sources of pride and fulfillment markers of the impact we have had on the world and the legacies we leave behind. They are reminders of the resilience, creativity, and determination that have characterized our journey. On the other hand, regrets are an inevitable part of the human experience, highlighting the moments of missed opportunities, unfulfilled potential, and the divergence between our ideals and realities. The interplay between achievements and regrets serves as a catalyst for growth and self-awareness. It prompts us to reevaluate our priorities, to make amends where possible, and to embrace the wisdom that comes from a life well-lived. In the twilight of our years, the tapestry of our experiences, woven with threads of joy and sorrow, success and failure, forms a rich narrative that speaks to the beauty and complexity of growing up. In conclusion, aging and wisdom are intimately intertwined in the philosophical exploration of growing up. As we navigate the terrain of our lives, the pursuit of wisdom becomes a guiding light of illuminating the path towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world. In the face of mortality, we are called to embrace the fullness of our humanity, to live with authenticity and courage, and to leave a legacy that reflects the wisdom of a life well-lived. This is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave a follow as I do this for free.